student my name is sumit mehta so in today's lecture we will discuss about some functions and their graph okay so first function that we are going to discuss is identity function which is fx equal x means or you can say y is equals to x and the graph of this function is this is x axis this is y and this is negative x and this is negative y and this graph is shown like passing through the origin o and this is called as y is equals to x or you can say identity function okay students now let's discuss about constant function so any constant function let's say y is equals to function of x is equals to c having slope parallel to x axis so this is x this is y and this is the function y is equals to c okay students now let's discuss about some polynomial function let me first delete this have you noted that so please kindly note that these functions in your notebooks so the third function now we are going to discuss is polynomial function okay the function is given to as fx is equals to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square up to an x bar n okay so to the function defined by like it is a where n is a non negative integer so i am first starting with fx is equals to x square so we can draw this function as this x and y this is negative x and this is negative y 1,2,3,4,5 so this is how function y is equals to x square can be plotted on the graph paper ok now let's discuss about modulus function the fourth one is modulus which is y is equals to fx is equals to mod of x and this function is denoted by this is y this is x so we can write this function as plus x when x greater than equal to 0 minus x when x less than 0 so this is how this function is opened okay so this is the plot of modulus function now let's discuss about signum function what is signum function this function is defined by function is 1 when x greater than 0 when x equal 0 it is 0 and when x less than 0 it is minus 1 okay so x greater than 0 it is defined by this and here it is this and here it is so this function is called as here it is open and here it is closed okay because at x equal to 0 the function's value is defined okay so this is signum function student now let's discuss the greatest integer function 
which is denoted by y is equals to this symbol the greatest integer function x so what it means that this greatest integer function between 0 to minus 1 will open with minus 1 and when x lie between uh, 1 to 0 it is 1 0 okay when x lie between 2 to 1 it is 1 and the graph of this function will be like this so 0 to 1 it will be 0 then it will be this 1 2 3 4 and this is 1 2 3 similarly it goes like this so students this is the graph of a sigram function now i hope that the various functions in the graphs are clear to you okay and in the next lecture student we will discuss some questions based on functions so stay tuned for some questions based on functions thank you happy learning